Good morning, operators. I am Leonidas. This is Nuclearism. What you're seeing is the startup sequence for AO. Today we're going to be looking at the main steam control valve, MSCV. I've seen a lot of questions about it. I wanted to go over it and, and try to explain what it is, how it works, um, help people get a better understanding. So I'm using my buddy AO to demonstrate this uh, first because he can move around a little easier and uh, show you some things. So in order to to understand the MSCV, you need to understand a couple other components. We're gonna go over that now. So where we are is we're in the condenser room. This giant tube is the condenser. And all of these uh, pipes, they are actually functional. But I, but I wanna start with water, the, the life of the water in the condenser. And it goes through, it comes out, right? We're in loop three, and then it goes into this pump. This is the pump, uh, loop three pump. It goes uh, through here, gets pumped in through that green pipe and goes out the wall there. So keep that in mind. And I'm going to probably speed up time to get AO going a little faster. Okay, we're now back in the uh, control. Uh, we're now in the reactor room and we see those green pipes coming out of the wall. That's the one we were referring to earlier right there. It goes up, it follows the wall. It's the one on the bottom. And let me climb AO as we come up. And that bottom one, if we follow the track, ends right here. So we follow the bottom one along and it comes into the steam generator. This green, I'm sorry, this gray uh, giant metal tube vessel is our steam generator so the water comes in here it gets boiled the bottom of that heats up turns red don't touch it'll burn you it turns gets turned into steam and it comes back out so when steam exits it comes through the this top green uh pipe not tube pipe use the proper word and if i follow it along it comes through um this path here sorry it's taking a little while I just want to make sure we see it all together so we know what's going on. It gets bent up, comes around, goes way down, and then gets sent through the wall there. So now I will move AO and we'll go take a look at the bottom one. Thanks AO, you've been a buddy. Hopefully your battery lasts long enough to finish this out. So if you remember, now it came back into the wall at the lower portion. This is where it went out. This is where the steam is. the water went out over there steam coming in here it comes along these two these pipes I keep saying tubes or pipes and we're looking for I believe this one is uh, three I think is over on this side here so it comes in here the steam and then it comes up and it goes to the ceiling this yellow one is our bypass as the valve says so if we were to turn bypass there's a little valve in here that instead of allowing the steam to continue on it just kicks back up here and goes right back into the condenser to be returned but assuming our steam continues on its natural path it goes along goes up through the ceiling and now i'm going to switch back to my character for this next part and this is where it comes up through the ceiling or right now we're on the floor now we're in the turbine room comes up to the floor it comes over here and here's our c4 valve our C4 valve is the MSCV. They are the same thing. It then comes into the turbine. It does its wizardry in there, spins that giant blade, that big fan, uh, which then turns this shaft. And this is where the electricity is actually made. And then it gets sent on to the city through these green wires. So that's the path of how this works and where this is matters. Uh, in in the whole grand scheme of things the C4 this MSCV valve so now I'm gonna speed up time and run back to the control room alrighty and now we take a look at our diagram on the wall so what we looked at was we we saw the uh, water coming from the condenser right we first saw that and it gets sent uh, into that pump that big yellow pump through the green colored pipes and then we tracked it as it went back to the steam generator it was the lower of the two green pipes that went in near the top of the of the steam generator and then that big type pipe that came out on top and followed along and then went into the lower part of the wall went back into the condenser room came up through the floor to that c4 valve to the turbine bypass and i'll demonstrate that that is the mscv valve by turning it here. If I go to zero, 
Yellow on a valve means that it's partially open. Red means that it's closed. So we just saw that it was green. It's yellow because obviously it's in the process of closing. And once it turns red, actually we can demonstrate it this way. Once this gets to zero, should be there shortly. We'll now see that the valve is red for closed, uh, just like all these others. So the way the MSC uh, V or the C4, the MSC V, the main steam control valve works, is it's an aperture, and you open it up. This is think of this as a percentage. Right now it's open one percent of of how far it can open. Right now it's eleven percent, and this is what allows the steam out of our generator, our steam generator, as it were. So it comes up, right, goes out the top, goes, we followed it along that top green pipe, eventually showing up at our turbines. Well, people might say, well, okay, I want all the steam out, so why don't I just always leave this at 100? I'm here to tell you that leaving it, your main steam control valve at 100, you are being inefficient. You are killing your whole system and you will never, shouldn't say never, it will be very difficult to get it in that thermal balance, that equilibrium that you, that everybody's aiming for where they want this number and this number to match. It won't happen. Now I want to conceptualize this. Imagine you have a little fan, a little pinwheel, and you're trying to make that pinwheel spiel, uh, spin by blowing air on it You know, there as you're sitting here watching this either on your phone or your computer. Imagine trying to blow on that fan with your mouth wide open. <sighs> You're not going to you're not going to spin it at all, or at least a very little little bit. It's very difficult to get enough air flowing out of your mouth, out of your lungs, with your mouth wide open. That's the MSCV at 100. It has a very difficult time sending enough uh, steam pressure to the turbine to overcome the mechanical resistance to get this torque up to spin that giant blade, those those blades, those fans that we saw on the big orange turbine to get enough pressure to spin that to, to bring this up. Is it possible? Absolutely. But it takes way more effort and it's way less efficient. So now imagine you have that same pinwheel or that same fan that you're holding in your hand in real life and you're trying to, to make it spin. Well, the way you do that is by closing your mouth, right, closing your lips and making a much smaller hole and blowing hard. Hard and fast air uh, will make that spin fan, or excuse me, make that fan spin quite easily. That's what you're doing with your MSCV. You're closing it down, closing that hole so that the air is moving out much faster. And it has to do with Bernoulli's principle and, and you know, gas dynamics and things like that that we won't go into. But it's the same concept. However, if you close it off too far, just like your mouth, if you close your lips all the way, of course, no air is going to get out. If, you, if the hole is too small, well, it's still not enough air to turn it. You have to kind of find that Goldilocks zone, that, that, that spot that's just right. And that tends to be between about uh, maybe three and six. That's it. Three and six are probably the only numbers that you're going to need to use on your MSCV. If you're, if you're using more than single digits, I can almost guarantee you it's too much. And the way you can measure this is look at the number here. This number will be 10 times what you have set here if you're doing it properly. So if you have this at say five and you're only getting 42, 42 here, well, you're not at 10 times, you're not at 50. It means you're not generating enough steam. This is not building back pressure. And it's the same as having your mouth wide open, <sighs> trying to blow that fan. It is not being used effectively. Let me say that again. If this number is less than 10 times this number, it is not being effective. So what you, there's two things you can do. One, you create more steam, right? As though you could have more air in your lungs and you're blowing on the fan, but keep your mouth at the same openness. Or you just close it a notch and let that back pressure build so that you are using your steam uh, more effectively to turn that turbine. That's what your MSCV is for. Um, the other thing that I'll say with this is you want it to match your secondary pump setting. You should always have a one to five factor. 
If this is 4, well, 4 times 5 is 20. This should be at 20. If this is 3, 3 times 5 is 15. This should be at 15. This is 2. 2 times 5 is 10. That should be at 10. If this is 1, don't put it at 1. It probably won't work. It's not enough air. Uh, probably not enough air. Especially in the earlier days. Until you get a feel for it, just go with that... Uh, I don't know what you call it, mantra, those those kind of settings in, in mind. That this is five times whatever this is. And you'll see that these numbers match consistently. Because this number will always be two times whatever this is. Again, so long as you're doing it effectively. If you put this at 100, you're not going to see 200 over here. Which is not going to happen without changing a whole lot of other factors uh, that we won't need to go into the, for this video. So, in order to use your main steam control valve effectively, Keep it in the single digits. If you shut it off all the way zero, no steam will be going to your turbine. One, probably too low. Two, will get your uh, demand down around 10 if you use my method of, of running mainstream, or uh, of, of running the reactors and using the MSCV. Three to six is probably all you need. Start out low and then move up as you need to. But always move these in sync. When one goes up, the other goes up. When one goes down, the other goes down. They should always be uh, a 5 to 1 ratio of each other. And watch these numbers. Okay, This is to see how, how you're doing with, with uh, the effect, effectiveness of, of your system. So I hope that helps understand what your mainstream control valve does and how it applies to sending steam down to your turbine and why having it wide open at 100 like so many people do is not effective. You have to have that back pressure, the same thing that you do when you're blowing on a fan trying to spin it. So, thanks so much for stopping by. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments so I can help clarify. I hope this has been helpful. I am Leonidas. We'll see you again soon.